wait. Right now, your right to be angry. Everyone has a right to be angry. Our country isn't normal. Things are not normal right now. Thank you. And you need to stand up for what you believe in. Yep. And you need to do it in the way that you're doing it. Yep. We've had two years where our lives have been upended. And many of you right now, myself included at certain times, are saying, what is happening to my country? I don't recognize Canada anymore. Yep. Now, some of you I have spoken to, and we've had really good debates on vaccines, the mandates, what the province is doing, what the federal government is doing here. But what you brought all you here today was the trucker's convoy and what we're seeing with the trucker's convoy and what that represents. And I was in Ottawa two days ago and I said to a reporter in Ottawa, and I'll say the same thing to my constituents, that these truckers went to Ottawa because they don't know what else to do. And we should be thankful that they're doing it because they're doing it in a, in a positive way to let people know that what Justin Trudeau and the Liberals are doing is not okay. So, you guys, you guys have a great day. Always fight for your freedom. I said to some of you as well that the, um, the charter, your charter of rights have come into question since since some of these decisions by the government and the freedom of movement, especially under Section 6 of the Charter. That's legitimate, and uh, I would encourage all of you, I, I listened to a very interesting podcast this week that a constituent said to me uh, between uh, Jordan Peterson and the former Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. That's the right thing to do, what the Premier is doing, the former Premier is doing. He's a, one of the founders of the Charter, and he's standing up for what he believes in, and he's using our courts in a legitimate way. So all I want to say to you today is I'm going back to Ottawa tomorrow, and I'm going to have the chance to speak on C8, one of the big COVID bills again. And what I'm going to say is that my constituents are angry. They want their lives back. All, many of us have kids. My son yes. said to me the other day, Dad, when's COVID going to end and when are we going to get our lives back? Yes. yes. And especially with Dr. Bonnie Henry said that we're treating it more like the common flu. Yes. Everyone has the right to question, well, if the, if the Dr. Bonnie Henry is saying it's an endemic now, what's the continuation and what are we going to do? Are we still being yes. what, are we, what are we doing? Yeah. What, why endemic. are some of these policies still being enforced? Yeah. Now, I know that's at the provincial level and I would encourage you to have those conversations with Pam Alexis or Bob Deeth or the MLAs in Abbotsford, wherever you're from. We have been sending emails, You're going to do that. We get and nothing I, back. I, 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 you I, you do get back from me. No, but, yeah. like, so uh, we I want mean, representation. We're counting on you. Yeah. And I, I, I am going to be speaking on CA and in the next week or two. They're with us. I know they are. And I, I heard that this was going on today, and I, I just came back from soccer practice with my kids, and they're McDonald's in the car waiting for me. But I just wanted to say thank you for what you're doing in a peaceful and democratic way. Stand up for what you believe in. We need to get our lives back. I'm squarely focused on that. I will be communicating that in Parliament. So why you did send police to my home? Because in my opinion, you're chicken shit. Hey. Okay. You know what? So that's another conversation to have, and I did not send police to your home. Okay. Yes, you did. No, I did not. He's here. He's here to help. I'm very much Thank you. He's in our sight. We need him. We need to protect him so he can speak for us. Any of the mandates? Do you support any of the mandates in any way, shape, or form? Like, so yes or no answer. Well, this well, is the part. Some of the mandates, but I just—I think I made my position really clear. Uh, 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 the mandates. Uh, uh, look, yeah, I, I don't care about all the lip service. Like, no offense, but a politician's a politician nowadays. We don't want to hear yeah. the bullshit. Yeah. It's a yes or no answer. Do you support any of these mandates in any way, shape, or form? It's a pretty yes or no. That's well, all I'm you need to I'm going to have to say yes in some form because it's not Fair a yes enough. or no answer, but I'm being honest with you. Well, it is a yes or no. Choice. Right. Choice. Thanks for coming choice. out, buddy. Choice. Choice. Thank you. Let's focus in the choice. 2021. No one word about COVID. Your review, 2021. No one word about... Yeah. That is not true. Yeah, I see. I have this at home. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that you are so the brave yeah, I today. I came back yesterday and I'm going back to yeah. So brave today. What? Only oh, that. Yeah, I, go, I, I come back, I'm only home for like, uh, often during, when, between sessions, I get home for two days. So I was in Ottawa last week and then I come home for, thir I got home at midnight Thursday and I got yeah. today's more, yesterday and today with my family and then I go back tomorrow. Again. I have delivery, I have delivery. So um, that's what I do. I just wanted to say Tell that. Tell your that we don't, yeah. we're not putting up with this. I told, no. I told our leaders. Him saying that views are unacceptable is unacceptable. How can a leader say that yeah. his people's views are unacceptable? Yeah. This, he can't say that. We all have a right. I don't know what the one you're talking about there, but um. Oh, true. Oh, true. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. On the, on the, on the, Trudeau, on the Trudeau one, uh, when he talked about the people who choose not to be vaccinated, that was completely out of line. I can, I, I said that fair and square. In the, no, no, no. Trudeau passed a law inciting violence and hate on a minority groups. He's passed that law. This is what he's doing on national TV to us, inciting hate and violence on, on facts. We are a minority group in his eyes, yes. and he is breaking his own personal law that he created. Right I don't, I don't know what you're you referring to. It's inciting hateful things on right people, again and kind of violence towards to minority say one thing. groups. It's all against the law, right? I appreciate you coming to speak to us, us and um, that you are agreeing that obviously some of the mandates are wrong, um, and I wanted to say I live here in Mission and two of my children are special needs and they can't attend swimming lessons because I'm not vaccinated. You, did I speak to you on the phone about this? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. But I have, yeah, I have two kids with uh, special needs and yeah. I can't even take them to swimming lessons. Like, what is this world? It's sick. It's sick. Brad, anyway, we have prepared on few Thanks days for, for you. Thanks for coming out, Brad. This is not a soft liability, Thanks officially. Yeah. I know that you got it by email, but now you have personally yeah. served. And and this is a package I, of more information just for you. Thank you. To learn. Thank you. To learn. Yeah. This is a lot to learn. Yeah. I promised you, know, you I would take it in person, so many. and I just yeah. did. There yeah. you go. So, okay. I have so many. And I, I will so get a response from the uh, lawyers I have access to on the notice of liability. We're playing by the game. We're, yeah. we're playing it the way it's supposed to be played. You're not we're just going doing... to win without us. Yeah. I told you on the first meeting in October, you're not going to win without us. Yeah. Okay. Recognizing us. Yeah. Do what you guys are doing. God bless. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you I, I, I wasn't here this week, but I... I, want, I wasn't going to not show up and let you know that I hear what you're saying. Thank you for Thanks for Thank you having for bravery, some integrity. Bravery, we appreciate it. Bravery to come yeah. here today. Keep it up, guys. Have a good day. Thank you.